plays. Him and Nam are gonna try out Wolf for the next two weeks. Yeah, him and Nam are homies, and they play. They want to play a lot of similar characters just because they they feel like they lab or like they think similarly or they play in a way that complements each other. So I know he's playing. He, he normally starts Peach. And then he also has a, a good Palutena, and then obviously he still plays Diddy from Smash 4, but yeah. he's trying to switch over to Peach and Palutena. Mm -hmm. This matchup is actually not bad at all. I'm also, again, surprised how he ended up on Battlefield. Huh. What, where, where would you take Samus if you were Viper? Oh, if I was Viper, I'd want this. Oh, yeah. That's well, why I'm surprised how, how we're here. Do you think that this is be uh, I think the best stage for this? Yeah. Like best out of the starters? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Either this or like... I think you can make a case for for what? Town? But Town? Yeah. Like FD, even Smashville kind of. Just annoying. Hmm. But he's doing a good job at getting himself in. But like not too in. Like just at that perfect range. Yeah, there was that, that was that uh, jump downer uh, that we were talking about, like, yeah. out of shield, like, that kind of get off the option. That's in charge. Hey. But now he's got him at the ledge. Curry's the first hit, gets hit by the second. Oh, he stopped the dancing but I think that could have killed. Yeah, it might have. Like, if he... If the fourth... It, it, depending on how the fourth hit. Yeah. I think he tried to delay it so that he could, like, yeah. somehow get the tipper of the last hit to kill. Speaking of, that back here. Yeah, there you go. Dancing Blade is super jank in this game at high percent. It's like the... the like, very often, the, like, you'll connect three, and it'll just be, like, far enough that the fourth just doesn't hit. Huh. And it happens pretty consistently, too. You can counter this? Um, yeah. I guess that's why it just just play with Roy, lol. His kill's like 30% <laughs> earlier than the others. So you don't need to worry about high percent because they're at like 90 or 80. <laughs> they never get high enough to fall out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Samus is running into all these nares. Yeah. Everyone's really pushing his advantage. Oh, oh my wow. gosh, that red sparked. At like at 40! Yeah. He was 40, 40 before hit the or hit, something. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh, and before the dancing play. That's crazy. But he's really pushing this lead. He's gotten 70% on the second stock. And it doesn't look like... Like, Pi hasn't really been yeah. looking like he's gonna throw out something. Another thing is, Pi's just been letting him in his shield. Yeah. Uh, I know. I it? know Samus, I'd imagine, can still be on the shield, right? Yeah, she can. Still probably works pretty reliably. Yep. But, finally oh. gets a stock. Yeah, we can go for the mix up. What's the mix up? Is Marth, is Marth gonna land on the top platform after up out of shield, or is he gonna fall through? Yeah. Like, he jumped toward the top one and he just fell through. It hasn't really. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see Viper Moon really jump out against the Samus. Yeah, I think he can uh, go a little more off stage, but he's yeah. also been good at holding ledge. Yeah. Or like at least getting a hit, even if he lets him come back. Yeah. I don't like that. That being said, I don't think there's been many opportunities to go that far. Like yeah. usually, it's just it would be uh, Pi like grappling the ledge or just double jump up being. Yeah. Like here. He's just got yeah, him like with the he's, ledge. He's yeah. not that he far. He boxed him out with that bear. He's gonna right. go on. There you go. Back I like that he went for that. To go to the that would have put him in a really good spot. Yeah. I think it was worth the risk. Okay, Pi's in advantage right now. He's yeah. been. That was like a quick 60% his back. That's okay, Pi's this is what I want to see more of. This is what's also hard on Battlefield, as you can see, because Viper's approach with the platforms, but just box him out. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, Marth isn't the fastest. His aerial mobility is just, like, whatever. Yeah. So, it can really get tough to get in, honestly. Mm. I feel like Pi was doing a... Oh, these bombs are well placed. That was, that was nice. That covered a lot of stuff. Oh, nice, nice tech. tech. Levin. You still got him up. Well, I've, I've noticed something that Viper's been doing is... Mm -hmm. So, Pi has been covering the running off of the lower platform on the outside into center stage with like yeah. a bear or something. So and Viper Viper's been going to the top platform yeah. and either dropping through or just jumping there and seeing, like reacting to what Pi's doing. Yeah. I'd like to see Pi maybe call it out or yeah. at least just like go up to the the, the top platform. Or I do imagine that's also not a bad option. Samus doesn't seem to have that many reliable yeah. anti-airs. So like... Approaching from above, like, 
you have that yeah. up air, but it's not the biggest hitbox in the world. Yeah. The only thing I could really see would be like Samus sharking Marth through the platform with up air, but yeah. it's good for juggling, but it's on shield it's not incredible other yeah. than the fact that it's a multi hit. This he's managed to make this game close though. Yeah. This game is this game stock. Is back right in the middle. Yeah. And I'm probably one of Mart's is favorite stages. Oh too. my gosh, that was oh. very close. Light hit into that check. He's not dead. Okay, so can he can he keep him on this ledge? That fair was really well drifted on shield. Oh. We saw Vite. Oh, oh I hate to see him. Got him. Dang. <laughs> At the very end, we actually saw Viper being more aggressive. He just ran straight. Even though uh, Pi has been covering it, he just ran straight through off the side platform to center stage and was just chasing Pi down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Pi was definitely doing a lot better towards the end of that match. So, yeah. like, obviously he has more stage options now. Hopefully we don't see Battlefield again. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I feel like these X games should be a lot closer. Yeah. And that is all really what would you ban here? Uh, I would, okay. If I was Pi, yep. if I was Pi, I'd ban uh, Battlefield and then Yoshi's. Because Yoshi's are smaller, not that much room to... Islander like. story. Or the, the melee one, the melee one. Okay, yeah, it's Yoshi's story. Yeah. What else? It's you just get, two bans, right? You get three. Three bans. Nine saves. Yep, okay. I guess the third one would be... Battlefield, Yoshi's story. Lilac could be annoying, I can see. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't really see anybody picking Lilac though. Like, I don't think anyone's really comfortable with the game. Lilac. Lilac's Lilac. like my favorite stage. Dude, there's this tech in, there's this tech in Smash 4 where, uh, like, she could, like, crouch and then just, like, get a, get a, like, a burst, like, forward or backwards. And on Lilac, like, just on the tilt, it just so happened that whenever you did it, you'd, like, cover half the stage. So mm. I'd take everybody to Lilac in Smash 4. No one would know what was happening. Yeah. Tilt also helped build in Smash 4. Oh, well, or the, the light. Oh, we went back Never to where we are. I really, I really think an open stage is just significantly better here. Yeah. F, F Smash on shield. Oh, nice counter. Might be a stock. If he. Uh, uh, Keep it really, a little bit. Yeah. It's actually a lot harder than it looks to get those counters. Because, like, if they're at a position where they can up be at different heights and still make it to the ledge, they can just wait. Yeah. Which is what we saw there. Nice parry. No, nothing out of it. Down air out of shield. Or down air just yeah. like, down air out of shield. Down air. Yep. Right. It's, it's something you see a lot from Sorties. Mr. E, especially, really? loves down air out of shield. Dude, he's just. Whipping these sports, he's really efficient with his hitboxes. Yeah. Like, I feel like he's like his neutral airs and F tilts near the ledge are just like they, mm -hmm. there's always one out. Down tilt, so, uh, down tilt sour down spot, spot, down smash. That's pretty. I think sick. that covered roll backwards. I think that's why yeah. I saw that. And he did in tech. Yeah. So he just got it. I probably covers like three tech options. Yeah. If you if you see that your opponent doesn't tech, I'm pretty sure the best move is like the sliding F tilt. Because yeah. Marth has a tipper hitbox on right, the bottom. Right next yeah, to him. Right. With that it, he yeah. swings from bottom yep. to top. Bottom to so top, it swipes yeah. the he bottom. He has one he has one of those on his upper as well. Yeah. Just gets the tipper back here yeah. and close that stock off stage. So now let's see if I can make it even or if Mike is just gonna run away with this. Oh, nice. Oh, catch it. Ledge. That's the fair. Tournament winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is actually surprisingly good yeah, in this game. It's a good option. There's it's a lot like of mix ups with it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, not like melee where, yeah, where it's, it's just it's objectively not, way worse not than not like every other option. So, something I'm seeing a lot is when Viper has Pi on the ledge, he'll position himself on that, like, the, the medium the medium height platform. Yeah. Like, at the edge of it. I'm not exactly sure what that covers because we've seen twice now Pi just regular get up or roll and it just go unpunished. Yeah. Oh, that shit. Well, his shield is a M and M right now. I would not be surprised if Viper just starts gas pedaling on Pi. Lots right of now. times, getting that getting that shield breaker but not fully breaking it is like the biggest bait for yourself because then you just want to go in. Yeah, right. Because you think like you just start throwing out an smash advantage. attacks and yeah. Yeah. It's like a skill in itself, just mm -hmm. going like, it is an advantage, but you're not just going to hit them for free, they can still hit you back. Yeah. I like, like I like how Pi's catching these jumps with there. Falls oh. out of Dancing Blade and doesn't die. 
Another fair. Still living. Can he, can he do anything with this? Spends his double oh. jump. Yeah, spends his double jump. And gets clipped. Yeah. Dude, the, the audio there is like a tad bit ahead of this. Yeah. So, like, I heard the charge shot before it happened. Okay. Up tilt. Nice. Kills him, just catches. We have a, we have a really good game. Yep. And both these characters are really big on just getting straight hits, so we're not going to see anyone just rock it up to 60. So it's really just a lot of neutral in this type of Yeah. Unless... Oh my. Unless I guess stuff like that happens. Oh, nice up nice B. That was really high, early. Yeah. Avoids the down air, avoids like a drop down back air. It's pretty yeah. good. Forward throw, I imagine. Yeah. Yep. Just keeping it off stage. No oh, just, that covered... That Cover like get up attack and standard get up. Yeah. Yeah. Down smash. Back throw. Is he gone? Oh. oh, nice new throw. Yeah. I feel like it might be kind of hard for Samus to cover Marth off stage just because of how fast Marth's yeah. recovery can be. I think it's really just about trying to cover the options. Yeah. While, like when he's trying to get back. Like uh, off ledge or what? Yeah, off the ledge. Yeah. Like put a bomb for like regular get up. And... Is he dead? Oh wow. Unfortunate. SD's, SD's last dive, both, both, both last games. Stock, yeah. Dang. That's, that's I hate to see it. Man. But Viper Moon was playing solid. I think yeah. that was deserved. Like either way, even without yeah, he the SD's. He was keeping him in the corner. He was, spa even like when.